A social pact is really a, com a contract between different stakeholders in society. So it would include um, the private sector, the state, citizens, everyone really who is kind of a resident of the space of, of the Gauteng city region. And what it would involve is people coming together to kind of collectively agree on the outcomes um, that they'd like to, to be shaped out of the G2055 process. This could mean anything on which society essentially needs consensus. So in terms of envisioning a non-racial future, we could imagine a group of stakeholders coming together from the private sector, um, from civil society and instituting a kind of a, a campaign, for example, to recognize the benefits of diversity and to try and brainstorm what a non-racial future would be like. The kind of social pact that G2055 is envisioning is one that is centrally informed by the principle of inclusivity. We're only as strong in our society as our weakest link, so it has to include all of the stakeholders in society. The state, the private sector, citizens, residents, everyone who is living in Gauteng who has some kind of stake in the future of the province. Um, and it's important to note that a social pact has to have some kind of meaningful content to it. We've had other examples of social pacts before, such as the Nedlac Chamber, which hasn't really worked. And this kind of social pact that G2055 is imagining is actually a chance to do something radically different.